Mr. Soroka, you're ready? Yes. Mr. Rockwood, you're going to observe? Okay. Roland, go ahead. Tell me when we're go. Okay, sir. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay. I'd like to call tonight's meeting of the Gardner's Only Board of Appeals. Today is Tuesday, June 16th, and it, right now it's 6.03. This is going to be our first virtual meeting, uh, so it's going to be a little approach. I ask everybody to be as patient as we can so we can get through this. Uh, one thing, if you're going to speak and we can see you on video, uh, first put your hand up like such so we can see you and recognize you. But if somebody is speaking, please do not over speak or go over them because it makes it very confusing to hear it. Okay, so we're going to begin. And like I'm going to start with, I'm going to read the agenda so that we know what's going to happen tonight. Today is June 16th, 2020. Location is going to be via Zoom. Uh, an announcement that says any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting or may transmit any meeting through any medium subject to reasonable requirements of the chair as to the number placement and operation of equipment used is not to interfere with the conduct of this meeting. Any person intending to make such recording shall notify the chair with herewith or forthwith. All documents referenced or used during the meeting must be submitted in duplicate to the clerk and all documents shall become part of become part of the official meeting. The agenda tonight, particip participating via Zoom. And I'll read the Zoom website here. It's uh, zoom.us slash j slash 9480876919 question mark PWD equal sign capital T capital H capital Q X, D, capital G, capital J, capital N, capital S, capital W, G, zero, D, K, capital J, L, D, K, capital F, E, A, capital X, B, J, U, V, I, C, U, T, O, I, O, nine. I missed that, Mr. Chairman. Can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got one shot at it, Randy. <laughs> It's a meeting ID is 9480876-9196, password 664907, uh, one tap mobile. And I have case number 2020-03-03, type special permit. Address request is 325 West Street. <clears throat> Excuse me to raise poultry. Um, and I'll just read a little <coughs> short here. A meeting platform will open 15 minutes before the time to allow any attendees to sign up or sign in. All attendees will be muted at entering, but will be able to communicate with hosts via the raised hand feature. We will be unmuting periodically for questions throughout the meeting. Should you be dialing in via phone, the use features are nine to raise your hand, six to mute, unmute your line. This meeting will be streamlined live via YouTube and signed by Raymond LaFon, Chairman, Zoning Board of Appeals. The next document is I'm going to go over some of the ground rules by which this board operates under. In pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Laws C 30A, paragraph 20, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in one place, this meeting of the Gardner City Council will be, oh, I'm sorry, Gardner Zoning Board will be conducted via remote participation and on the city's YouTube channel. The audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of the proceedings will be posted on the city's website as soon as possible after the meeting. Since this meeting is being conducted via Zoom, all votes taken will be by, by roll call and all participants to raise their hands to be recognized. 
Now, in Gardner, three members of the Zoning Board of Appeals must be present to conduct the legal hearing. Applications will be normally heard in a sequence in which they appear in a public notice. We only have one case tonight, so that will be the first one and the only one. All hearings shall be open to the public and no person shall be excluded unless he or she is considered to be a hindrance to the workings of the board. An applicant may appear in his or her own behalf or re be represented by agent or attorney. The applicant or his or her representative shall present the case to the board. Representatives of the city shall be heard. Abutters to the property present shall be heard. Those in opposition to the applica application shall be heard. And members of the board may direct appropriate questions anytime during the meeting. Due to the meeting being held remotely, we ask that questions be held until prompted. And should you have a question, please raise your hand on the screen, raise your hand to the screen. Phone-in attendees will be asked periodically if they have any questions. At certain times, we may mute your mics so as to clearly hear who is speaking. We ask for, ask for patience when questions arise so we may respond accordingly. The board must render its decision regarding variance requests within 100 days after the application was duly filed in the office of the city clerk. The board regarding special permits, which this case is this evening, must conduct a public hearing within 65 days after the application was duly filed with the office of the city clerk. The board must render its decision regarding special permits within 90 days after the closing of the public hearing. All three members of the board must vote in favor of the variance or special permit for it to be granted and approved. The right to appeal the decision of the board is provided for in the Zoning Act. More information can be found under Chapter 40A, Section 17 under Mass General Laws. No variance or special permit or any extension, modification, or renewal thereof shall take effect until notification from the city clerk that 20 days have elapsed after the decision has been filed in that office and no appeals have been filed and is recorded in the registry of deeds for the county or district. The burden of supporting the need for the variance or special permit rests with the applicant or representative of the applicant. The board requests that each person identify himself or herself as to name and address before addressing the board. Sitting on tonight's hearing, uh, well, from my position in the striped white shirt is Randy Heglin, and on the right-hand side is Michael Gary. So Randy, would you please raise your hand? Michael, thank you. And myself, Ray LaFond is chair. The meeting will be recorded, as I said, and it will be live streamed to YouTube. Does anyone object to this? Since there are no objections, then let's get started on the meeting. And the case we have this evening is 2020-03-03. John Soroka, application to raise poultry and construction a chicken, construct a chicken coop at 325 West Street, Garden Mass, Parcel ID M27-12-47, located in the single family one zoning district, SFR1, is denied as it does not comply with chapter 675-410 of the city code of Gardner. The table of uses states that your, excuse me, the table of uses states that your use request, requested line number 12, agricultural use, non-exempt, requires a special permit, SP, issued by the Dutch Zoning Board of Appeals. And this meeting was moved from the March meeting, which was canceled due to COVID-19. Okay. So we're gonna start and uh, Mr. Soroka, you as the applicant, have the opportunity to state your case. And since this is a special permit, uh, hopefully you're aware that there's nine issues that you have to address regarding a special permit. So you may take the floor now if you would like, state your name and address for the record, and then you may begin. 
Uh, my name is John Soroka, um, living at 325 West Street, Gardner, Mass. Um, the, I have, what I have is just four chickens. Um, I've done a, a extensive amount of work uh, making them, them comfortable and keeping them in a secure location back from any road by a hundred, at least a hundred feet. Um, I think I could, uh, I, do you guys have photos with you? I do, and it'd be like, this is like this. Uh, the uh, actual photos of uh, earlier on that I had supplied. Hey, you're with me. Like this? Yeah, yes. So okay. that, that what you just uh, showed was a recent photo that I brought down to the town hall because that's the work that I've recently put into it. You see the surrounding the coop. Uh, it's for protection, not only for them, but it's also to keep them from wandering around other <coughs> folks' uh, yards. And uh, it's like I said, it's just four chickens. I don't have a plan of extending uh, the flock, so to speak, that it's for myself, my dad, uh, my girlfriend, just immediate family to have uh, the eggs for consumption. And uh, let's say, uh, like I said, it's about a hundred feet away from the road itself. The yard is about a third of an acre total. It's also approximately a hundred feet, maybe 75 off of in from Albion Street. And, um, yeah, so like my, my like my purpose was at first I, I didn't I, I didn't uh, get the chickens with the knowledge I should say of that I wasn't able to I thought I was able to via a quick look online turns out I wasn't in the right quite the right um, area of Gardner but I didn't realize that until Ro is it Roland yes until he he uh, informed me that of that. So that's how I came to be to want to speak to you guys, uh, set up a meeting and show you just what I've done in order to keep it uh, everything safe and secure and just let you know that it was just for personal consumption and there will be no growing of a flock or anything like that. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask a quick question here because I'm looking at the first map that I show or the drawing that I showed you. This one? Yeah. And I see Albion Street. I see the location of the shed. Approximately, how far is that shed from the parcel of your property line on Albion Street? Okay, the, um, let's see. The, the coop right, the is not the shed, is not the shed. The coop is not the shed. Right, the coop, the coop is directly in front of, or, in, or behind, depending on where you are, of the shed. But okay. the shed is not, where you see it on the photo on the photo here, yep. The shed is actually back towards the house, sort of uh, just in front of where it shows the deck. It's not actually. It looks like the corner of the shed is at the corner of the back of the property. Yes. But it's actually approximately, I'd say, twenty-five feet from the back of the property. So it's not exactly accurate how, as it shows the shed. Okay. And from Albion Street, I'd say it's roughly um, a good 80 or so feet away. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, um, as I mentioned when I was reading the introduction, there's nine items uh, under a special permit uh, that are required to be addressed by the applicant. Are you aware of those? Uh, I, I am aware of those. Uh, I have to be honest, I'm not sure how many of them, because uh, I, I'm not, it's not a business or it's not something specific as, as such as, as the questions seem to pertain, but yes, I'm aware of it, yeah. So I would like to go through those nine. Um, if you do have a little struggle or issue with any of them, uh, we cannot answer them for you but we probably can help you a little bit of how you should be looking at this and respond, but we cannot make your decision for you. 
So I'd like to start with number one. The pro proposal shall be suitably located in the neighborhood which it is proposed and or the entire city shall be compatible with the neighborhood character, <coughs> or existing uses, etc. Well, I'll ask a question after that. Does anyone else have any chickens or a coop or anything in the area at all? Uh, are you asking me? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, they, uh, within a quarter of a mile in a couple of different directions, uh, there's chickens at a couple of different residences. Um, the only difference is I've seen both of them wandering around the yards, uh, whereas I made the choice to give them a comfortable enclosure so that they wouldn't wander around outside of my, um, my yard. But yes, there are a couple of places that I've seen. Okay. The proposal number two, the proposal shall provide convenient and safe vehicular traffic and pedestrian movement within the site in relation to the adjacent streets and property. So I guess my question will be, uh, are you projecting that there'll be any uh, vehicle or pedestrian traffic in and out of your yard because of the chickens and the chicken coop, et cetera? Or no, are only they just going to be there? No, no, uh, there will be no traffic. It's just myself in the yard doing yard work, and and uh, my dad and uh, some uh, my girlfriend, and that's about the gist of that. Uh, yeah, it's and like I said, it's off each street by a good distance, and there's no traffic to be uh, right there. Okay. Three. Proposal should provide adequate space for our street parking, loading, unloading of vehicles, goods. Materials, products, equipment, incidental to the normal <laughs> operation or the use. Um, most of that would be non, would not be applicable to what your application is, other than if you're bringing grain on. How are you going to bring grain in? Uh, I have, I just uh, have bags of their food and uh, treats and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, right in a, in a plastic container, which I retrieve each morning to uh, replenish and give to them. So there'll be no vehicles, et cetera, will be bringing material supplies, et cetera, and unloading on your property? No, no. Okay. Number four, pr proposal shall provide adequate and appropriate facilities and utilities for the proper operation of the proposed use and disposal of sewage, refuse, and other waste products and methods of drainage of water, of surface water. So I, I do, if anybody has a question, I think Randy, you had mentioned that or we talked a little bit earlier. Uh, you're gonna have refuse and everything from the chickens. How do you handle that? Do you take it off site? Do you store it? How do you handle I, that? I, uh, I, well, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm doing two things. I'm, I'm putting it into a waste basket and I'm, uh, uh, I'm doing that. And I'm also trying to set up a, um, uh, what do you call it, um, compost. I'm gonna try to set, set myself up with a composting system and utilize some of that and some other, obviously food scraps and whatnot as part of that. But uh, at the time I, I'm getting rid of it via just a trash, a trash bag and whatnot. All right, does it go into the city trash or do you go to the landfill or however you handle that? I usually take them at, at every so often myself to the uh, facilities. Mr. Soroka, what's the volume of waste that's generated by the chickens on a daily basis? Uh, is it a five gallon pail? Is it a 10 gallon pail? You know, what, 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 what's the volume? Oh, I would say their, their, their specific waste per day is probably, uh, oh, I'd say, uh, I'm trying to think of something in the size of, yeah, probably no more than a, a, a bowl. If you, it's only four chickens, so in a day's time, maybe fill up a bit, uh, a good size soup bowl or something. That's, I'm just trying to guess, guess at that. I haven't really thought so about that. But there's no, not, there's no, there's no hay or anything involved, or you know, that's that you're collecting on a daily basis. How, you know, what's the bedding? Wood chips. Um, I had, I had, I tried, I had some hay, 
had some wood chips. Um, now I have, uh, I still have some hay and some wood chips, but for the most part, because they're in that enclosure that you, I, I think you guys have the photo of, I got some grass put in there just recently for them to, you know, do their natural thing and peck away and have fun with that. And uh, so they go in and out and they're out during the day, right in that spot. So they get to go out, you know, they stay out as much as they want because they're going to be in that spot and they're not um, wandering around. Okay. I try to provide them with as much comfort and things that they, I think they would like, such as uh, the grass. I just, I just rolled out a few um, rolls of sod just yesterday for them to enjoy. And uh, yeah, other than that, they, they basically use the, the coop for sleeping and um, egg producing. <laughs> They're great tick eaters. Do, do they eat ticks? Oh yes, a lot. Oh. Very much. Oh, good. All right, number five, proposal shall, con shall not constitute a nuisance due to air, water pollution, erosion, flood noise, odor dust, vibrations, lights, or visually offensive structures or site features. Are you going to have any lights on your the chicken coop or pen, the automatic lights that come on at night or anything like that? No, there are there are no lights on the coop right now. I had a I had a lamp on it on the front of it, uh, solar powered, so that at night it would kind of glow a real dim dim light on it. But I've since taken that off the front because uh, of the 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 area that I the, the caged area that I put around it kind of was in the way of that. So I I'm not using that right now. So no, there's no lights. Uh, do you have water out for that pen, or you bring it out buckets or anything? Or I uh, have a, I have a, both an outside faucet and a sink in the in my cellar. So I re, I give them fresh water via a bucket, uh, with the cover on it, and I got the, the you know those the, I put the nipples on the bottom for them to drink it that way. I have it hung on the back of the coop. Okay, so there's no from running water coming out of the pen or the coop draining off the site and draining down towards your neighbor? Or oh, to the no. Of the no, okay. no. <clears throat> All right, number six, the proposal shall not constant, not be a substantial inconvenience or hazard to abutters, vehicles, or pedestrians as determined by SPGA, that's us, the Special Permit Granting Authority. So does it interfere with your neighbors at all? or anybody walking on the street or anything like that? No, it's uh, absolutely zero interference because it's, it's in the centrally located in the yard and it's directly behind the shed. It's not involved in any parking or any other, other, um, other thing like that. Okay, I'll just ask a question. Uh, do, have you had any conversations with your butters regarding this, uh, the chicken poop? Uh, just uh, two of them that I'm friendly with. Uh, one straight across on Albion. Well, I, what I mean by friendly is that I've actually <laughs> had a conversation with. Most of the time, you know, I, I, I guess I, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I don't always know all my, all my neighbors. But I, uh, the, uh, my friend next door, Bob, uh, he's a good guy. He's uh, no problem there. Next to him, uh, a couple of ladies, uh, I've spoken to them. They know the chickens exist. Uh, and also a fella who I just spoke to once, he moved back into a house that he grew up in on Albion Street. And uh, he was, he asked me about the chickens because he was interested in possibly trying it out, trying to do that himself. But uh, other than that, uh, no, I haven't heard uh, any, anything. So you have not had any negative or detrimental comments or statements from any of your uh, butters or nearby people, et cetera, regarding your activity? Uh, the, the one, I wasn't here. The one thing that uh, several months ago, my dad said a woman came, this is, this is before, by the way, I had put up a uh, structure for them to remain in right. several months ago before COVID. Uh, I guess a woman, a straight across on, not on Albion, but on the street beyond Albion, I guess her backyard abuts Albion as well. She popped in and, 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 and mentioned to my dad that the chickens were over there hanging out in the yard. And that, it was really at that point that I said, okay, I'm going to put a structure around the, them and uh, keep them from, from 
I'm doing that. And that's what, and that's what's occurred ever since. And I haven't heard anything since from anybody. Okay. Then that leads me to ask a question, which will settle. So your chickens will not wander freely in your yard or could wander somehow into an abutter's yard. No, uh, uh, they stay where they are. And if I want to give them a little spot for the day in the yard, that's a different spot. I just have a little fence thing that I'll put out there and I'll put them in it. They can hang out there and I put them back in the spot. But, uh, but for 99% of the time, uh, I try to make them comfortable as I can uh, right where they are. All right. So they will not wander freely in the yard. No, no. Okay. Uh, number seven, the proposal shall be in harmony with the general purpose and intent of this chapter. I mean, you're trying to address that and you're giving us the information, so that's for us to decide. Uh, number eight, the proposal shall not have a significant dental, detrimental impact on city services, tax base, and employment opportunities. Um, I don't think it's really applicable. I'll take questions or comments from either Mike or Randy on this one. But I do not think there's an impact to city tax and employment. No, I don't see anything detrimental. Okay. Randy? No. no, it's not It's not relevant for this. Okay. And the number nine is a uh, proposal consistent with city's community development plan. It's really irrelevant to that one also. You agree, Randy, Mike? That's correct. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that I'll takes care of that one. Now I'm going to, Mr. Soroka, I'm going to ask if you have any other comment. Oh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to mention, I don't know if my girlfriend is still available uh, with her phone outside, but if you wanted to see sort of a, 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 the surroundings, uh, I could do, I could try and do that. Oh, we well, let's take a look after, but she was the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, right now it's a little blurry, so she might not be there. If she comes back. No, yeah. I'm still. Sorry. Still... I'm okay. still here. Okay, you're a little blurry. We can't really see you anymore. Okay. So... If she gets that set up, then maybe we could yeah, do we that. Could do that. All right, so the next question, is there any representatives of the city to speak regarding this application? And the only representative we have here is um, Mr. Jean from the Building Commissioner's Office. Yes, well, I'd like to ask one question, if that's okay, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to know if there are any roosters planned for this pen. No, no roosters. Um, the, uh, well, well, the reason for that is, I, one, I don't want to extend the flock, and also, if I had a rooster, that would potentially give a neighbor or two a reason to not appreciate them being there. So no. Generally, generally when we receive complaints in my office, it's because people can hear roosters crowing in the morning. So yeah, I remember. You, I remember you said that to me. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. There won't be any rooster. So you will not have any roosters. No, no. All right. So if the board does look favorably upon your application. And that was a condition put in there. You would not have a problem with that. That it Rooster? was no roosters. Oh no, no problem at all. Okay. All right. I so there are no other. Manager. Are you all set, Mr. Dean? I have nothing else. Thank you. Okay. There's no other city representatives here, so I'll just move to the next one. Are there any abutters to the property present to be heard? I don't see anything on the screen. I don't know if you have anyone on the, the telephone. I don't have anyone on the phone, sir. Okay. Uh, anyone in opposition to the application shall be heard. Is there anyone to state any opposition? There is no opposition stated. Um, okay. I'll turn the questioning over to my two colleagues, Randy and Mike. So Randy, do you have any questions or comments of Mr. Soroka at this point? Just a quick comment, or a quick question for Mr. Soroka. Uh, the picture shows a like a picket fence along the West Street side of the property. Um, does that go along Albion Street too? Is, is the whole that whole side fenced in or is it just uh, along West Street? Um, 
at, at 325 West, there's a, a white plastic fence all the way across the front. Yes. And then uh, on Albion, it's a, uh, a chain link. A chain link. There's no, there's no fence in the back? Oh, yeah. There's a, uh, an old, old uh, picket fence between our property and the, the white trailer that's right behind it on Albion. So if, if all of the, basically the area was fenced in, how, I mean, your, your chickens were free ranging at the time. How did it go over across Albion know, Street? There's, to, a, there's an open, I'm sorry. There's an opening uh, on Albion Street between the end of the fence uh, where the, the white trailer is and uh, 20, I don't know what it is, 20, 25 feet. There's an opening there. That's what, that's what they, okay. they were walking out. Okay. okay. Smart chickens, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I, and uh, as they got older, they were just like, you know what, I'm going to go over here for a while. And they just kept on trying to, to wander around. I, I don't blame them, but I stopped that quickly. Good. Thank you. Anything else, Randy? No. No. Michael, do you have any questions? No, not at this time. Okay. Well, I do have a couple of questions written here. And I think you've answered some of them. My first one was, how many chickens do you plan to raise? You said your maximum will be four? I have four, yes, correct. You don't plan to expand that? Uh, no, not at this time. No, I, I, if I was to expand it at all, maybe one or two more, but that's it. I, don't, I want them to be plenty comfortable in, the, in what I've built from right now. Okay. My second question, do they roam freely? You answered no. Um, you answered it, they do not go into the neighbor's yards. And you answered, what do you do with the refuse, et cetera, after you clean the coop? So all my questions, uh, you answered in your presentation. So I'll just ask if my members have any further questions at this point. No. Nothing, nothing, Randy? No, no. no. Okay. Um, and periodically, we do visit sites to look at it. Um, I know I've driven by. I don't know if the other two members have driven by or. If I have. have yeah, have. I have. You have. I have as well. Okay. So, do you feel a site visit is necessary? No. No. Okay. I'll ask a question. Uh, would you like further discussion, or would you like to move forward on this this evening? I'll take comments from my two. I'm okay if we move forward. As am I. Okay. So uh, do I hear a motion to move on the application of Mr. Soraka to um, establish what we call the chicken coop on West Street? And I think that we're looking at it with some conditions. Well, first of all, let me uh, take the motion first. So moved. Seconded. Okay. Any discussion? No discussion? Okay, then uh, I would like to propose that we approve the application of Mr. Soroka with, uh, for his, to raise poultry and construct his chicken coop, which is already constructed, sure. but with the condition that there'll be no, no greater uh, than four chickens, uh, there'll be no roosters, and the chickens will be maintained within some kind of enclosure so they will not roam freely. And by that, I mean, I mean, he's got really, he's got a, I'll call it the portable enclosure that if he lets them out, then he can keep them in that or the existing coop that is there. Uh, those are my conditions. Anybody else have any comments, discussion? Yeah, you know, I'd like to give him a little leeway. I, I would say no more than six chickens. Um, just in case if, you know, if they start getting old and not laying eggs, you, he might want to bring in another chicken and just to, to give him a little, a little leeway so he doesn't have to come back and get an amendment to this special permit if we grant it. Okay, Randy, can I have a new I think I, I think I concur with Mike on that. Okay, I am. Now, we have Galaxy who has offered to show us the chicken before we call for the vote, a chicken coop, before we call for the vote. Are you available to just give a quick glance of the existing coop? Sure. And please, what is your name and address for the record? Uh, my name is Kathleen Profit, yeah. P-R-O-F-I-T, and I live at 61 Jean Street in Gardner. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, now you may show us the coop if you would like. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, I know it's it's facing me, so I'm going to just turn it and hopefully you can get a good view. Um, like, a, like a selfie. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me know if, if you need me to do anything else, but you can pretty much see the, you can see the coop, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the main door. The that's the the door to go in. Um, this is the inside, and there's some of our little guys there. Okay. And there's the sod that he just put in. See, he babies them. They're like his dad calls this the Taj Mahal. Um. Anyway, and that's the coop, right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, they have, yep. Yeah. Uh, underneath the coop, I have some sand I put in there because I, I found out that they like to scruffle around and that stuff to try and clean themselves up. So I put some sand underneath the coop and kind of blocked it in so they can go in there and not only get out of the sun, but uh, clean themselves up, I guess. Yeah, so that's the sandbox down there. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and there's two egg laying boxes in there uh, for the four. And I mean, they seem Kath pretty happy. Kathleen. Yeah. Can you just show them uh, to the left how far you know off it looks? Uh, it, it is to the uh, West Street, and then also Albion. Oh yeah. Um, okay, so. Yeah. See. Just, just leaving the side of the cage now, and it's uh, I'm walking towards the fence over here. It's I mean it's quite a distance away, so. I don't think anyone going by this way is really aware. It's just the people on Albion. But okay. they're all very they're all very nice um and they're just they haven't said anything other than just inquisitive, you know, just curious curiosity factors. Sure. But yeah. Um so I mean it's a nice yard. It's a big yard as you can see. Uh, we're doing a lot of trimming and gardening. <laughs> but... Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, Mike or Randy, you have any questions regarding the uh, the coop that she showed us? No, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm good as well. Okay. So I'm ready to call for a vote. Then all those in favor. And what were your conditions again, Mr. Chairman? Conditions uh, as amended will be no greater than six chickens. They will not be allowed to roam freely in the yard. Um, no roosters. What, what did you say, Mike? No roosters. No roosters. That was, those were <coughs> no roosters, no more than six chickens, and no roaming freely. Okay, so I'll call for the vote now. And if you vote either pro, uh, for, or against, please raise your hand as I call it. So all those in favor of granting this special app, special permit to Mr. Soroka, I'm gonna say, say aye and raise your hand. Aye. You, I think you have to do a roll call vote, Mr. Chairman. All right, I will do it at the same time. Give me a hand, Randy, thank you. Okay, Mike, favorable? Yes. Randy? Yes. Okay, myself as chair, yes. All, anyone against? No, it's a unanimous vote. So your special permit is granting granted and you will receive notification from our office mr soroka and then at that point you have 20 days to have that recorded on your deed in the registry that you must do um and it but you can't do any you're not supposed to be doing any activity between now and then uh because any apple uh, butters etc or aggrieved parties can file a grievance and you know, go and move forward to have this overturned or whatever. So I would just wait for the letter after 20 days, get it recorded. Oh, get it recorded within 20 days or after the 20 after days? The, after you receive the notification from our office that no one has appealed. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, so is there any other comments from Mike, Randy? I have nothing. No. Oh. Nope. Hey, I'm going to move to close this hearing at this point. Any uh, objections to that, Mike or Randy? Nope. Okay, then I'll do uh, Mr. Gene. 
Rachel, do we have minutes to vote on? Please. Um, I think we have quite a few to vote on, but they're in the office. Okay. Why don't we reserve that for our next Zoom meeting then and maybe yeah, you can resend yeah, them to us as a refresher of the ones that we still have to vote. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They need to, they need to be signed. So. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chairman, so, uh, I, I also suggest we set who the next applicant is for our second Zoom successful meeting. Yeah, uh, we had talked about, uh, Rachel and I had just emailed back and forth about setting up another one. And we just wanted to talk about that after amongst the members of which ones we want to put on. So, hey, Ra I'm going to ask this, Rachel, can we do that after? And if people leave the meeting, then... Yes. You and I and the two members, we can discuss this? Yes. Okay. Then nothing further before the board? Okay. So I'm, I didn't officially close it all the way. So I'm just going to say we'll go into a recess. We can let the others go. And then I can close the whole meeting after that. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. You're welcome. Thank Sorrell. you. Thank you, John. Thank you, Galaxy. Thanks, thanks for your patience and waiting for this through this whole process. Yeah, you yeah, are no first one, so thank you very much for that. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to start calling Kathleen Galaxy now from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, have a good night, and uh, you'll be getting a letter from Rachel or from our office shortly. Okay, great. Thank okay. you, guys. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thanks, you good too. Night. Right. Okay, so they can leave the meeting and then it'll be just our people here. Kathleen, are you off? If she wants to listen in, she's more than welcome to listen in. I think it's still, yeah. can you, I mean, uh, still, still a public meeting. Still can a public you, meeting. Yeah, yeah. okay. We do have several other cases which Rachel sent to me today. Of course, I don't have them in front of me. I didn't print it off, but we do have the uh, addition of units. Uh, yep. We have the uh, smoking bar. What, is, what else do we have, Rachel? Or oh, house we construction? Have, yeah, we have a construction yard and we have and the um, yeah, there's Keith Paquet that's got the frontage and there's built a single family home. There is the smoke bar. There's another one that's just come in, but we don't have to worry about that because that's um, a daycare. Okay. Yeah. Who's Keith Paquet? That's... Um... That's Arcadia. Is it 96 Arcadia? Yeah. Well, he lives on Highland Street and he wants to put... Parcels 13 2 does not have required frontage. Yes, I think there was a, a mobile home or something there at some point they've pulled down and they'd like to build um, another one. A single family residence? Yeah, single family residence, yeah, but the, the, the frontage isn't there. Okay, and the other one I'm looking at is Woodford Electric. Yep. Yeah, and he wants to um, have a construction yard. Street. Yeah, 74 Sand Street. That's it. Yeah. And he wants to, that's the contracting and contractor's yard. Yeah, the contractor's yard, yeah. Okay. And then the other one was um, the additional units on 102 Vernon Street. Okay. Any preference on, uh, do you think we should, we can handle two uh, cases next month or? I think we could probably do three, or do the three of them. We, uh, myself and Ron were talking about it earlier and um, we actually think we could probably do those three and then we can have the smoke bar a meeting for itself. Well, I have a problem. The, the smoke bar and the, the Vernon Street are the two oldest and I don't think we should yes. push them back of, behind people who have come in later. I, they've been waiting the longest and I think they need yeah. to be addressed first. I agree with you. So if you, if you think the smoke bar is going to take a long time, then I would just do Vernon and, and the smoke bar at the next meeting. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that if everybody else is okay with that. 
I'm okay because I think I, I think I share Mike's comments that if there's going to be any activity, it's going to be on the smoking bar. Yeah. And I think we'll have more people on. Yes. Randy. Now you were talking about a two week, a two weeks between them or three weeks between them, right? It's you were be, talking yeah, about. It's going to be three, it's going to be three weeks because um, I need to get the advertisement to the Gardener News by tomorrow at the latest, and then it has to <clears throat> two weeks the following two weeks. So that's the quickest turnover we can have. So we'd be actually looking at I think we said it was the seventh of July. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I think that's what we had spoken about earlier. We said, you know, publish two and it'd be in the third week when you run them. Yeah. So is everybody in agreement to do the smoking bar and the Vernon Street on July 7th, as you said? Fine yes. with me. Yes. And David, you're covering the smoking bar for me, please. I am. Randy. Okay. Thank you. I think that we're available on July 7th. Did you say Roland? Is everyone available on July 7th? I am. Right now, I am. Me too. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So I have two cases that I'm going to be on the smoking bar and uh, Vernon Street. Yes. Sure. If you want to do Vernon Street too, that, I'm okay with that as well. Yeah. I don't want to take anything away from you, Randy. No, no, you're just, <laughs> won't hurt, you won't hurt my feelings, none. All right, so that's what we'll do, <laughs> July 7th, and we'll have the two cases, the smoking bar and the Vernon Street. Do you, still, the, do you still want to do the meeting at 6 p.m. rather than 7? Yes. I, I think that's fine with me. Perfect. Yeah. Michael and Randy. That's uh, fine, yep. Okay. okay. Then let's do that. Okay. So It'll be okay with me, Ray. Perfect. All right. So is there any further business before the board? No. I'll officially close this meeting. And do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Seconded. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Randy, in agreement? Aye. Yes, yes. Michael? Yes. Okay. Myself, yes. Unanimous. Meeting adjourned. Okay, so you can leave the meeting if you want. Everybody can leave now, right, Rachel? Yep. Okay. Mike, you're doing the decision? Oh, he's off. Mike's Mike, oh. <laughs> Mike has to do the decision. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Rachel, tomorrow, let Mike know that he has to I will. decision. I will. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I want to thank you guys for doing this, uh, Rachel and Roland, for helping us through this. I know it was a little bumpy, but that was our first one. And if we've got some issues, please, Roland and anybody who was on the meeting, please let us know so we can iron them out and make the meeting better going forward. But be All kind. Right. But be kind. Always. Okay. Then I'm ready to leave if everybody else is ready to leave. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Have